back now on this special edition of GMA3. Capturing the beauty of a solar eclipse can be a rewarding experience, and with the right techniques, even your smartphone can serve as a powerful tool for documenting this celestial event, DeMarco. <laughs> Those phones are incredible and celebrated photojournalist and National Geographic explorer. Babak Tafreshi is an expert and has a few tips and tricks to help us all take that perfect shot. Today we embark on a celestial journey capturing the spectacular beauty of a solar eclipse with nothing but our trusty phone. I've been photographing solar eclipses for about 30 years and here are the tips I learned from the pain of messing them up. Safety first, wear solar eclipse glasses. You can also use a set of solar eclipse glasses in front of your phone camera, not only to protect the sensor of the camera, but also to avoid getting the shot overexposed. While these are not useful for a proper camera and a big lens, for the small lens of the smartphone camera, it's pretty handy. You definitely want to be inside the path of totality and closer to the center line. Many smartphones come with optical zoom of 3x, 5 or 10 times. While it's an advantage to get closer image of the sun and the corona, the best quality on these cameras comes with the 1x main camera. The wide angle view also gives you possibility to include a foreground. If you're in Texas and Mexico, the sun is way up overhead at 60 to 70 degrees high and it's harder to get something in the foreground unless it's elevated from you. But if you're further up in Ohio, New York, or New England and Canada, the sun is closer to the sunset and the horizon and easier to include the foreground. Auto-focusing on the sun with the smartphone is challenging, especially during eclipse. The focus may go back and forth without any result. It's best to use a manual focus and do it before totality. Find an object in the far horizon and set it there. You can tap on the screen and hold it until it's fixed. And with some other cameras under the pro mode, you can go to manual focus. The total eclipse lasts only three or four minutes. While it's fun to capture solar eclipse on a phone camera, most important is look around during totality to stars, planets, the solar corona. Look at people and their reaction. So grab your phone and join us in documenting the beauty of the universe, one photo at a time. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.